Heidi 8 Bimlink lets you pull data from an Autodesk Revit file into Excel for editing and then push it back into Revit with equal ease. This short video demonstrates just one of the many ways Bimlink can be used to enrich your building information model. Bimlink can be used to manage construction sequences in Revit and Navisworks Manage or Simulate. What if your project scheduler and your Revit modeler could work together more seamlessly? In this example, we're going to take a look at a Revit structure model. We're going to export some data and manage the data more efficiently in an Excel spreadsheet using Bimlink. Within all of my Revit projects, I can use a shared parameter. The example that we're using here is task name. In the project, I can assign task name to any categories, in this case, some structural members and my floors. If I pick a structural member, I can now go to the project browser and assign a task name. In our Revit view, you can color code using filters according to the tasks. This makes it easier to understand the construction sequence. These view filters can be turned on or off so that subsequently you can export views that are specific to a task assignment in this case, say, Framework for Level 3. Making task assignments in Revit can sometimes be time-consuming, and this is where Bimlink can help us. Even if the Revit modeler has created a schedule sorted according to the base level of the structural components, you can still only assign one row at a time. You don't have typical spreadsheet functionality. So two problems, you have to be in Revit. And the second problem, you can't assign a task to multiple objects simultaneously. IDH Bimlink will let us select parameters that are in our project database, in this case related to structural columns, and export them out but into an editable spreadsheet. This way we'll have available the kind of functionality that you find in Excel spreadsheets to do things like sort or copy and paste. So if I want to, when I've opened this spreadsheet, I can go in and I can sort the information according to the base level that the structural column is on. I can see my gaps in the data. I can use the right click functionality to copy and paste the values from one row to multiple rows in my spreadsheet. I can then go and bring in the changes by importing the structural columns spreadsheet. And you see that my columns on the top have updated with the appropriate task as identified by the view filter. So another scenario that shows us the benefit of BIMLink is that we have a Navisworks model where the project scheduler has already added some additional tasks for the stairs zone A, zone B, zone C. They've been associated with data and they've been put on the timeline. But now we can save that out to a spreadsheet and then we'll be able to take the task names from that spreadsheet back into the Revit model. So right now with the Revit model open, if I look at the 3D views of the stairs, actually stairs and railings, you see that if I pick something, whereas it has the task name that was assigned as a shared parameter within Revit, there are no values available for what the task name is. From Revit using ID8 Bimlink, I can export my stairs spreadsheet. with whatever sorted information I want. I, 
With the spreadsheet I exported from Navisworks, I can then take the task names as values into my Revit project. So if I copy, switch to my ID8 spreadsheet and paste in the values, I'll then be able to bring them into my Revit project. Now I'm able to import this new data on task names into my Revit project. I'm using here two separate spreadsheets, but you could have separate tables within one spreadsheet that has all the data. When I have that in my model, if I switch to one of my 3D views, you see that I can select the objects and because I've got both stairs and railings, I need to drill down a little bit to find the actual category. But under the category, I can now assign values that weren't there before. So I can tell it that is zone A. To introduce new data to Revit and to manage the data in Revit, I really don't need to be in Revit. I can do all of this within the spreadsheet created by BIMLink. Both the Revit modeler and the project scheduler using Navisworks were able to collaborate using BIMLink to better assign tasks and check for construction sequencing.